Hi, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, and welcome to our High Viz Gear Guide. In this video, we're going to talk about some helmets and some jackets that are all going to be this neon high visibility. Most will be this yellow color scheme. We do have some orange, but basically, these are the brightest colors in the visible spectrum. Most times when a driver of a car collides with a motorcyclist, the answer is going to be they just didn't see them. When you start to get into this type of this type of colorways for gear, it's very much a safety option. It's very much something that you're looking to invest in if you're a commuter, if you're a high mileage guy, if you spend a lot of time riding in the city, you need to be seen. And you can do this by upgrading the color or moving toward more safety conscious color in both your helmet and your jacket. There's twice as many motorists on the road than there were 30 years ago. And what we're seeing is more and more companies are now adopting color schemes that are gonna be much more safe when it comes to being visible. So let's start with these helmets here. And you'll notice here on the left, I have a yellow helmet just to give you some contrast between a standard yellow and this high visibility um, neon yellow. So starting on my left, I'm going to start with this Nolan N43 Trilogy at 279. It's a hybrid helmet. Notice that it does come in a yellow, which I consider high contrast, but it's not as high contrast as this neon. Moving right, we have the Alliance from Icon. It's a sport helmet. It comes in this high-vis orange as well as high-vis yellow. This is probably the best sport riding option You know, if you're going to be in a tuck position. Continuing down for 279. That one was 220, by the way. 279 Scorpion X0900 Transformer. Modular helmet, transformer helmet. This whole face bar comes off. This one's going to be 279. Gives you a lot of functionality. High vis yellow and black for guys that need a little bit more functionality than the standard helmet. This is a great option. My one of my favorite helmets on the table, the Orix RXQ, new for 2010. 512 dollars. High vis touring helmet. You know, comes in. All of these helmets come in a myriad of other colors. These are just the high contrast options. So that's the Arai RXQ of 512. You have the Vector, which is also more of a touring helmet that's slightly rounder than the RXQ at 422. And then you have the Enduro styled Arai XD3 at 526, which is going to do many, many things well, whether it's on road, off road, or dual sporting. So basically, like I said, it's a safety choice. It's safety conscious rider. We're seeing this segment really, really start to grow as people become more aware of their ability to be seen on the road and keeping them safe in the long term. So moving on from helmets, we're going to move right on to jackets. And what you're going to notice with a lot of these jackets are two ways that you can approach it. You can go full high vis, like this Olympia Air Glide 3 next to me, or you can do a, a more toned down color that has high vis trim. They are really two different schools of thought. You know, everybody has their own degree of style, how they want to approach things on their bike, you know, whether they want to be a, a huge glowing neon sign or they just want to be a normal rider that has some trim. It's, it's really up to you. This is the most popular jacket in our lineup. This is a four season coat from Olympia. CE rated armor, DuPont Cordura. It's color fast. It has a lot of mesh so it's going to breathe really, really well in the summer. And it's a two liner system. Waterproof breathable liner and then a removable thermal liner which is quilted which lives inside of that. 249 bucks in this. It comes in another colorway called the Toxic which is also it's a mix of high vis red and high vis yellow. Give a quick spin for me Patrick. This is the Olympia Air Glide 3. It also comes in a ladies version. Hands down the most popular high vis jacket that we sell um, for guys that are looking to make that choice. Cut on this guy. Patrick's wearing a medium. He's about my height. He's 5'9", 165, 39 inch chest. Um, waist length coat, can do a lot of things well, going to shield you from all the elements and going to keep you reasonably, reasonably cool in the summer and reasonably warm as you go down into the temperature range. Thanks Patrick. So next up is going to be our most popular trimmed high vis jacket. When I say trimmed, notice it's black with specific strategically placed high vis color blocking. Joe, give a quick spin real quick. This is going to be the Revit Dragon jacket and this is the high vis yellow colorway. Not full front and back high vis, but trimmed. So it's great visibility, but with a good mix of style as well. This guy's $299. This is our most popular trimmed high vis jacket. It's going to be a four season jacket, but it's really best for fall, winter, spring. Removable thermal liner, removable wind water liner. They have a women's version called the Siren that I don't believe the high vis is available yet. It does have some venting for the summer, but if you're in the Northeast and it's really muggy, you're going to struggle. It's, uh, it's not optimized for muggy, super hot weather riding. Notice you have a, a, a complete storm cuff here at the collar on the ends of the sleeves. It's just that great Revit level of quality with a nice style option for those of you that don't want to be full high vis on 100% of the garment. Once again, $299, the Revit Dragon Jacket. Thanks, Joe. 
So next up in our high-vis gear guide is going to be the Olympia AST jacket at $299. It also comes in a women's version. Remember, Olympia are the guys that pioneered high-vis. They've been doing it the longest. This is a four-season jacket, really beefy construction. Notice the three-quarter touring length, CE-rated armor. You have 2,000 denier cordura in the impact areas, both elbow and shoulder. Um, Joe, what size are you wearing? Medium. Joe's wearing a medium. Joe's 165, 5 foot 10, 10 and a half, uh, 38 inch chest. But remember, the Olympia is the most generous cut of anything that we carry in this video. So if you're a guy that has a little bit of a gut, if you're if you're not built like a uh, like a jockey or a MotoGP rider, you, the Olympia stuff is probably going to offer great bang for the buck, but be very forgiving from a fit standpoint. Actually, four inches of adjustability in the stomach here with these two cinches. Give a quick spin for me, Joe. Now, like I said, this jacket it definitely has um, the waterproof breathability built into the outer shell, but it does vent. But in the summertime, there are some other jackets like the Air Glide 3, which will keep you cooler. So if you're in the Northeast, you don't do a ton of wintertime riding, but you need to be cool and, 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 and comfortable when it's really hot and muggy out. This jacket's going to be more rugged, but there are other jackets that will flow more air. All right, Jeff. Joe, thanks. So next up, we have a high-vis option from First Gear. This is the Rush Mesh Jacket, which is going to be mesh. It's going to do a great job in the summer. And then it also has a water resistant removable liner to block some of the wind. So you'll get late spring, early fall out of this guy as well. Um, basically mesh construction on the exterior, you have some reflective, you have CE rated armor in the elbows and shoulders, 149 bucks. The women's version is gonna be the contour. Give me a quick spin, Anthony. Basic jacket, Anthony's 6'1", 195. He's actually wearing a large tall. So a little bit extra arm length, extra length in the, in the waist here, but then it's gonna be the right fit for him as well at 195, you can spin back. You're, you're allowed to face the camera for most of the time. <laughs> so there you go. So that's the uh, Rush Mesh, mesh High-Vis version from First Gear, 149. Thanks, Anthony. So next up in our High-Vis guide, we're going to have the Olympia X-Moto jacket, which also has pants that marry to it as well. Notice that this is not full High-Vis. This is what I would consider High-Vis trimmed. So you're going to have a, a pewter-colored exterior, and you have great High-Vis elements in more visible areas if you're in an upright position. Basically, at 429, this jacket is to do everything in all seasons in rugged environments. This jacket goes head to head with the Revit Sand, with the Cayenne Pro. This is an adventure touring jacket that it offers a level of technicality that most riders actually don't need. But it's going to be the most ballistic, the most protective. CE rated armor, give a quick spin for me. Notice the removable integrated hydration system that comes with the jacket. Keep going, it's all right. Waist cinching, Joe's wearing a medium, he's 5'9", 165, 39 inch, or 39 inch chest or 38 inch chest. The best part about this guy is removable waterproof windproof liner, and which is actually styled to be a destination layer, and you have also a removable quilted liner for the coldest of the cold weather. In the summertime, it's got these big mega vent panels also that fold down, and it has them on the pants on the back, you know, it's going to do a great job at flowing air. So at 429, this is one of the most rugged adventure touring options that comes in high-vis colorway that we have. Um, have a full 10-minute video on this guy. It does a lot of things well. Thanks, Joe. So next up in our Glow in the Dark Spectacular is going to be the First Gear Kilimanjaro Jacket at 299, which also comes in a men's and women's cut. Patrick's wearing a medium. Again, he's 165. It's more of a boxy cut. It's not going to be that Euro cut. The nice selling points of the Kilimanjaro are going to be that it's a three-quarter jacket. It has a waterproof breathable liner built into the outer shell, so it's non-removable. And it also has a removable thermal integrated destination layer. So you're going to have one removable liner that's just thermal and actually can be worn standalone to keep you warm um, when you're off the bike. But do a quick spin for me, Patrick. The color blocking is nice on this guy. It's more of a touring cut. It's boxier, cinching at the waist, a lot of pockets, a lot of functionality. And then you have good zippers for ventilation that are mesh backed as well. So it's going to do a great job of keeping you cool and dry or warm and dry in the winter. And it'll vent reasonably well in the summer. Um, Cordura on the outer shell. You have CE rated armor. Just a really nice three quarter coat at 299. Um, the color blocking, like I said, it's a, it's a mix of colors with the high vis, so it's tasteful as well as extremely visible. So it's a first gear Kilimanjaro jacket. Thanks, Patrick. So next up, we have the Dainese shotgun jacket. We actually have it in yellow. Now it's not going to be high vis yellow, but I wanted to include this to give a great option for the sport um, and Eurobike crowd. So it's Dainese. It's arguably the most stylish jacket that we have in this whole collection that we're showing today. 289. Joe's wearing a 50. Remember, he's 5'10". He's got about a 39-inch chest. But it's going to be a two-season jacket. When I say that, you're going to get all summer, you're going to get late spring, and you're going to get early fall. So basically, combine those two half seasons to get that two-season uh, functionality. 3D mesh, boomerang mesh, Mugello stretch fabric. Turn aside CE-rated armor. Give a quick spin for me, Joe. More 3D mesh um, in the back. 
you notice the embossed Dainese logo, you have the Dainese Stitch logos. It's just beautiful. Dainese does Italian, they do sport bike, they make beautiful stuff. This is a great hot weather textile from them and the yellow is going to give you added visibility when you're on your bike even though it's not high vis yellow. Alright Joey, thanks. So next up on our lineup is going to be the Nova Vest from Olympia at 79 bucks. Patrick's wearing a medium large size, there's only two sizes of this guy. Basically this is for the guy who does not want to buy a whole new jacket for when he wants to be more visible than usual. So you'll notice that he's got a Revit air jacket on underneath, which is a great summer jacket. The Nova vest is meant to be breathable, to flow air. Let your jacket do what a jacket does, which is gonna be protect you from both, uh, you know, potentially uh, getting off the bike, you know, in your armor, as well as flow air or block air, depending on the seasonality. The Nova vest has some good functionality to it. It's big enough to where it's not in the way, but it gives you nice room under the arms to move. You're gonna have a mil spec pocket here for credentials, single basic zipper, you have adjustment on the side, spin for me, put your arm up right there. Notice the side adjustments and then keep spinning back. You also have additional reflective that's on the back of the jacket as well. Remember, Olympia are the guys that were the first movers in the high visibility space a long time ago. They've kind of set the road and pioneered that space and they have other manufacturers for the last couple years that have been starting to roll out high vis. But Olympia is definitely very forward thinking. Their stuff is uh, offers a lot of value for the price and at 79 bucks, it's one of the better high vis vest options. We're showing the red just to kind of mix up this video a little bit. There is a high vis yellow version, but you notice that red is a very different contrast than you'd see in a normal red garment. All right, Patrick, thanks. So next up is another high vis mesh vest option. This is the Icon mil spec mesh vest, meant to be worn over jacket. Joe's wearing it over a Revit air jacket. You can see it's high vis. It's made of mesh, so it lets your jacket do what your jacket's designed to do, whether it's a mesh jacket, four season coat, lets your jacket, you know, your jacket's gonna protect you from the elements and from the ground. But this mesh is just gonna sit over top to make you more visible. Reflective, it's got the military functionality, removable Velcro ID holder. Spin for me real quick. Okay, spin back. Very basic, 50 by five bucks, does a great job. Sizing is basic, it doesn't have to be tailored, it just has to give you enough room to go over your jacket. So that's the Icon Milspec Mesh Vest, 55 bucks. Thanks, Joe. So next up, we have the Icon Milspec Field Armor Vest at 120 bucks. Patrick's wearing a small medium. He's got it over a Revit Air Jack that you can see underneath. Basically, this is a great option for the sport bike crowd. A lot of guys like to put something over their Joe Rocket jacket, their Icon jacket. Just a little bit beefier protection that can be worn under or over. And uh, I actually think that this vest is meant to be worn over. You have adjustability here, adjustability here gonna cinch in, it's high vis, it's mil spec, it's got a pocket for your credentials. It's been backwards, show the back, Patrick. You also have big adjusters on top of the shoulders, because typically military guys could be a little bit bulkier, they're in better shape than the rest of us civilians. So at $120, it's the Icon mil spec Field Armor Vest. It's a great option, rubberized armor here in the chest, but it's just gonna be, just like the Nova Vest from Olympia, you know, another accoutrement that you can use that's gonna be functional, protective, it has back armor, but also make you more visible. Actually, one more time, turn backwards, I wanna take a slow shot of some of the reflective elements here on the back. So you have reflectors under the arms and then all the way down the spine guard there. All right, Patrick. So you've now seen six helmets, six jackets, and three vests that are all going to do a much, much better job of keeping you visible and keeping you safe while riding your motorcycle. In both daytime, no, nighttime, low light, city scenarios, they're all gonna offer different levels of uh, functionality for the price. You know, some are full jackets, some are lightweight jackets, and some are gonna be vests. And the helmets go the same range as well. You're gonna see things in that $200 range all the way up to the, 550, the 525 mark for the uh, XD3 over here. Basically, anything you saw in the video today, we have full HD detail breakdowns of on revzilla.com. Make sure you check out the product page. There'll be an individual video. But really, we wanna do this video as a guide for those of you that are toying with the idea of going to that high visibility spectrum, or those of you that are already there that are looking to either upgrade or replace replace an element or aug augment your collection of motorcycle gear. Thanks for watching today. I'm Anthony. Patrick's been a great help. We also had Joe in the video. Um, you can find out more at revzilla.com slash high dash viz. You know, as always, any of this stuff's going to be over 39 bucks. We'll ship it for free. We also, if you get the wrong size, we'll ship you your first size exchange for free. And with our Teamzilla Cash program, anything over 100 bucks, you have up, you can earn up to up to 5% back on your next order. Remember, shoot us a line, cs at revzilla.com via email or 877-792-9455 via phone. We'll see you next time on Revzilla TV. Thanks for watching our high-vis gear guide.